Ponte Yeval mother arrested following an, um, an investigation by intelligence. The FBI and Homeland Security has appeared in court today. The 32-year-old is accused of allegedly selling nude pictures of her daughter online. Her identity cannot be revealed to protect the four-year-old child. ENCA's Nobesutu Hejana is following that story and joins us now uh, with the details on what happened. So there were court proceedings today, Nobesutu. What is the latest uh, that you can tell us about this case that has outraged many, not just in the community of Bonte Yerval, but also across the country? Well, to last, the Bontiaville mother will remain in police custody uh, as her case was postponed to September 15. Uh, she is accused of allegedly selling those naked pictures you've mentioned of a four-year-old daughter. And you like you've mentioned also that uh, the arrest was made by uh, or in a joint effort by the SAPS as well as the FBI. Uh, she is believed to have been selling these pictures and gaining money on the dark website and the FBI an agent pretended to be a buyer and was able to track her down uh, to her Bontierville uh, house and the community has not been supportive of what has happened and in fact they were saying that how can this happen in their community where uh, children were playing on the streets and the safety of their children uh, the, the fact that they were not sure or they didn't know that this was taking place in their community uh, but we spoke to a community leader Mr. Angus McKenzie, who was saying that uh, they will continue following up on this case to make sure that uh, she is prosecuted because what she has done to her child cannot be forgiven that easily. But here's Angus McKenzie. We were immensely shocked, and that is why we've been following up on this case on a daily basis, and that is why we're here today, and we'll continue to be here for the foreseeable future. The reality is that no person must ever be allowed to hurt our children. Or, or anyone for that matter. And I think for me the most important thing is that this, this motivation and this fight that we are fighting against, this cruel, uh, uh, cruel injustice and cruel acts against our children, is not just a fight for Bonteville. This is a fight we have to take to every community. We have to take this fight across the city and we have to take this fight across the country where community leaders stand up and say that no more will our children be harmed, not just by people they don't know, but alleged to have been hurt by people that, they, that, that gave birth to them. We cannot allow this sort of thing to happen in our city. This is the future of our country that we are dealing with. And if we aren't going to put a stop to this sort of behavior, and we're not going to ensure that justice is served, we're going to find ourselves in a very tricky situation in the years to come. Angus McKenzie there of the Ponte Yeval community. But not only is the community shocked and outraged, but I imagine, I can only imagine what the family of this child must be going through. Did you manage to speak to some of them? Well, she is facing charges of manufacturing porn and being in possession of it. Uh, so the family did not want to speak to the media, understandably, that uh, they don't want to show their faces out there and they don't want to be identified by other people, but they did say that uh, they would like not to speak to the media because this is hard for them as well. And we understand that the child is currently receiving trauma counseling uh, that is offered by the Department of Social Development. And they did not say what kind of uh, trauma counseling that they're providing for this child, but they do not also want to disclose where they've taken the child. But the family is not happy and they choose not to speak to to the media at this mm. time. Understandably so. Thank you for that. That's ENCA's Nobesutu Hejana there uh, reporting on that really disturbing um, story there out of the Western Cape.